Because Bermuda is an island, almost everything has to be imported. But there actually are a few things that are made in Bermuda. And one of them can be found here, at the Bermuda Perfumery in Stewart Hall in St. George's, where you can see owner and master perfumer Isabel Ramsey Braxtone create one-of-a-kind scents. So this is the perfumery. Yes. This is what they make all our perfumes. And what is this? This is Bermuda cedar. So we take wood chips of Bermuda cedar and sawdust. Like wow. This. Okay. Whoa! That's potent. It's very special. It's got a lot of alcohol in it. It does, yes. So we saturate it with alcohol and right. then we extract the oil. Isabel creates scents the old-fashioned way using Bermuda's flowers and citrus trees as an inspiration for her perfumes. And how cool is this? You can actually get up close and personal and see how perfumes are created and manufactured from start to finish. The perfumery has been around since 1928, and new perfumes are being created all the time. Oh gee, what a surprise. You can even take some home. One of Bermuda's most unique products can be found here at Chartwell Apiaries, where beekeeper Randolph Ferbert keeps about 100 hives. Randy has been keeping bees for 39 years, and in return, they've been keeping him busy. Beekeeping is a passion for Randy, and his honey obsession includes a quirky museum where he has a collection of bee memorabilia and honey he's found from all around the world. A visit to Randy's apiary is a master's course in the art of honey production. This here is what we call the observation hive. And you can observe what the bees are doing here from their actions. And I can tell from here what's happening to the other hives in the outside. I'm Peter Greenberg, and thanks for watching.